Hello, Intellects. Welcome back to Insights for You today. Your introduction is one of the most essential parts of your research papers or report. Although there is no one formula for writing a good introduction or background to the study, I will show you how I write my introduction and background to the study, in five simple steps. But first, permit me to tell you a simple story that would help you understand what background to the study entails and how it is different from introduction. James and Jacqueline were neighbors living in a two-story building. Jacqueline lived on the first floor of the building, while James lived on the ground level. Jacqueline had a habit of throwing water from the first floor to the ground. Many times in the past, James complained and cautioned her, all to no avail. Then one bright morning, James dressed nicely to go to work and came outside. To his utter dismay, Jacqueline unintentionally pours water on him from the first floor. Now James was furious and shouted at Jacqueline. A heated argument ensued that attracted the attention of the neighbors and the police, of course. When James was asked what happened, what do you think he would say? <laughs> exactly. James naturally starts by telling neighbors that he has been warning Jacqueline about her habit of throwing water to the ground floor for a while, yet she kept on doing the same thing. This scenario can be likened to the background of the study. The background to the study in a research paper is the foundation upon which research is built. It focuses on the incidents before your examination, and it examines the reasons for your research. On the other hand, the introduction part of your work states what your readers should unambiguously expect in your research. Your introduction creates the scene of your study. In this video, I will show you how to write an introduction which sometimes is called a background to the study in research. Now let us get to it quickly. If you have been watching my other tutorials, you know I love to teach using examples. Therefore for this tutorial, let's use this easy to understand topic. Women in Leadership If I want to write my introduction or background to the study for this research women in leadership, this is what I do. Step 1. I set the objective of my study. Most times, authors write their objectives after they are through with their background to the study. It is not bad though but your introduction may lack focus. Setting the purpose of your research will guide you as you write your introduction and make it more focused. Here are my objectives for this tutorial research topic. Here are Step 2. I write down all the objectives in red in a draft like this. The purpose of this is to create a precise sequence for my introduction. I keep in mind that my background in the study justifies the need for conducting my research. Step 3. I then performed a quick literature search based on my objectives. I either use Boolean search operators or other methods to search the internet to find existing works that focus on each aim of my study. You can see my video on how to search the internet effectively. Then I write all I have gathered under each of these objectives in my first draft. Then I study them, note what has been done, the gaps, missing links and what has not been appropriately addressed. I keep in mind that my background to the study is not a literature review, so I keep it not too short, nor not too long. I won't elaborate on existing literature I make sure I discuss my findings in chronological order from the known to unknown. Many authors make this mistake, and they write from the unknown to the known. Writing in chronological order will keep your background to the study very organized. Step 4. I organize my draft. I begin my introduction with a catchy statement or question. If you find it challenging to get a catchy idea for your introduction, just comment in the comment section below, and I or someone else would help you get it right. In some institutions, you may be required to briefly define the main variables of your study in your introduction. I do not forget to remove the objectives I have in red. For literature treated on each objective, I add my own idea. I also endeavor to add linking statements to connect each paragraph to one another. Then. I go through what I have written, making additions and subtractions. Maybe step 5. I discuss the gap, that is what has not been done just like this. Then, I conclude by stating my topic or overall objective stylishly, just like this, and my background to the study is perfect. So intellects, I hope this video is helpful. See you next week Monday. Be safe. Bye. See you next